Welcome to the 38th Annual Mississippi College Academic Competition. The competition began the year with 19 teams from high schools across the state. Teams are matched in quiz-like competition, utilizing questions developed and tested for the high school level. Our goal is to recognize academic knowledge, to encourage learning, and to foster the spirit of competition and fair play. We have reached the quarterfinals. This match features East Rankin Academy and Jackson Preparatory School. Let's meet the teams. Audrey Hawk, freshman. Jonathan Lambert, senior. Will Price, senior. Dylan Davis, junior. Colby Stewart, senior. Braden Whitney, senior. Anna Kate Bernalay, junior. Jake Matthews, junior. Jeffrey Jordan, senior. Ellen Waits, senior. So we begin round one with a 10 point toss up. Which four-ton U.S. boulder was cracked in a move in 1774, patched in 1880? Jackson Prep, Plymouth Jake. Rock. Say it again. Plymouth, Plymouth Rock. Yes. For 10 points, which charitable organization founded in London by William Booth in 1865? East Rankin, Will. Salvation Army. Yes. For 10 points, it's a math question. The square of the binomial x plus 9 is equal to 64 when x has which two values? Each rank it will. Negative 1 and negative 17? Yes. For 10 points, which word completes the proverb, the blank doesn't fall far from the tree? Jackson Prep, Jake. The apple. Yes. For 10 points, it's another math question. Which angle in the fourth quadrant has the same reference angle as 228 degrees? East Rankin, Dillon. 312 degrees. Yes. For 10 points, in which century did the Roman Catholic Church condemn Galileo for holding that the earth was not the center of the universe? Jackson Prep, Jeffrey. 18th century? No. East Rankin, Will. 17th century? Yes. For 10 points, give the more common name for the avian influenza. Jackson Prep, Jeffrey. Bird flu? Yes. For 15 points, while speaking at a charity event for a children's hospital on January 14th, 2019, the mayor of Gdansk, Poland, was pronounced dead after being stabbed on stage. Gdansk is a port city on what body of water? East Rankin, Will. The Baltic Sea. Yes. For 10 points, identify France's national holiday, which is named after... East Rankin, Will. A steel day. Yes. For 10 points, identify the Norwegian explorer who discovered and colonized Greenland. Jackson Prep, Jake. Leif Erikson. No. East Rankin, Dylan. Eric the Red. Yes. For 10 points, which forward phrase used as the, as the title of a Shakespeare play means a great deal of excitement? East Rankin, Will. Much Ado About Nothing. Yes. For 10 points, it's another math question. Two-thirds of 18 is equal to four-thirds of what number? Jackson Prep, Jake. Nine. Yes. For 10 points, identify the Central American country whose name is possibly derived from the native words meaning land of the many trees. It borders El Salvador, Mexico, and Honduras. Jackson Prep, Anna Kate. Venezuela? No. East Rankin, Will. Nicaragua? No. It's going to be Guatemala. For 10 points, which hyphenated word completes the proverb, don't be penny wise and blank? Jackson Prep, Jeffrey. Pound poor. Say it again. Pound foolish. Yes. For 10 points, which five letter term designates any boundary between air masses of different temperatures, such as the boundary between cool, dry air from the north and warm, humid air from the Gulf of Mexico? Jackson Prep, Jake. Front. Yes. For 15 points, in his autobiography, William Butler Yeats wrote that when he was 10, his father read aloud to him all of which work by Henry David Thoreau. Jackson Prep, Anna Kate. Walden. Yes. For 10 points, 
What name is given to the property of a material that allows it to be deformed, to exert a force while deformed, then to return to its original? Section prep, Jeffrey. Elasticity. Yes. For 10 points, it's another math question. What is the smallest two-digit positive integer that gives a four-digit integer when squared? Jackson Prep, Jake. 10. No. East Rankin, Dylan. 33. No. It's going to be 32. For 20 points, Thomas Wolfe gave the name Dixieland to his boyhood home in his loosely autobiographical 1929 novel. Name this work his first novel. And that concludes round one. We'll be back in a moment with a preliminary score. After the first round, the preliminary score is East Rankin Academy, 85, Jackson Preparatory School, 85. We move on to round two, which is a toss-up and bonus round. A toss-up for 10 points. It's going to be another math question. The square of negative three is how much larger than the cube of negative three? Jackson Prep, Jeffrey. 46. No. East Rankin, Will. Negative three times larger? No. It's going to be 36. It's a toss up for 15 points. What medical term beginning with S designates a type of malignant tumor growing in bone and muscle tissue? Jackson Prep, Jeffrey. Staff? No. No answer from East Rankin. It's going to be sarcoma, a 15 point toss up. What name, having within it a word for a very foolish person, designates both the capital, capital of Comoros, an island off the east coast of Africa, and the Mormon angel who visited Joseph Smith in 1823? No answer from either team. It's Moroni. For 10 points, name the Boston Church where, according to Longfellow, Paul Revere's friend hung two lanterns to signal the arrival of the British by sea. No answer from either team. It's going to be North Church. For 10 points, name the beloved woman of the outlaw, Robin Hood. Jackson Prep, Ellen. Maid Marian? Yes. And here are your bonus questions. Identify each of the following associated with after. For five points, identify the U.S. state capital located at the confluence of the American River and the river after which it was named when founded in 1849 by John A. Sutter on the site of his sawmill where gold was discovered. Sacramento. Yes. For 10 points, the U.S. city with the phoenix as its symbol representing the city's rebirth after the earthquake and fire that destroyed it in 1906. San Francisco. San Francisco. Yes. For 15 points, animal named after the Palouse Indians or the Palouse River and sometimes called a raindrop horse because of its spots. Palomino? No. East Rankin? No answer from East Rankin? No answer. All right. It's an Appaloosa. So we go back to a toss up for 10 points. Which scientist shared the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1903 and won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1911? Jackson Prep, Jake. Marie Curie? Yes. And here are your bonus questions. Identify the order of each of the following organisms. For five points, houseflies.
Do you need an answer, Jackson Prep? Insect. Nope. No. East Rankin. Diptera. Yes. Yes. And we move on to another toss up for 10 points. It's going to be a math question. What is the probability that a number chosen at random between 100 and 110 is a prime number? Section prep, Jake. Three out of 10? No. No answer from East Rankin. It's four out of nine. Another <coughs> toss up for 10 points. Which word designates all of the following? An order of freshwater bony fishes with a pointed head and sharp teeth? A weapon made up of a metal spearhead on a long wooden shaft and once used by foot soldiers, and a mountain with a peaked summit. Jackson Prep, Jeffrey. Shark. No. <laughs> East Rankin, Jonathan. Pike. Yes. Yes. And here are your bonus questions. Identify the following by giving an answer beginning with the letters P A R. Um, for five points, plant or animal that lives at the expense of another? Parasite, yes. For 10 points, endocrine gland that controls calcium phosphorus balance in the body. Do we have an answer, East Rankin? Perineal? No. No. Jackson Prep. Jackson Prep. Adrenal. No. It's going to be the parathyroid. And that concludes round two. We'll be back in a moment with a preliminary score. At the end of two rounds, the preliminary score is East Rankin Academy, 105, Jackson Preparatory School, 120. We move into round three, which is a toss-up with bonus questions round. And we'll start with another math question for 10 points. To the nearest degree, give the Fahrenheit temperature equivalent to 10 degrees Celsius. Jackson Prep, Anna Kate. 18 degrees. 18. No. East Rankin, Dylan. 50. Yes. Yeah, 50 degrees. And here are your bonus questions. Identify each of the following phrases. For five points, during which war did the phrase all quiet along the Potomac have its origin? The Civil War? Yes. For 10 points, phrase designating the area between the enemy lines, ranging from about 30 yards wide to more than a mile wide that was first used during World War I. No man's land? Yes. For 15 points, two word term used to designate the deliberate, peaceful, and public refusal to obey certain laws or governmental demands out of the belief that they are morally wrong. Civil disobedience, yes. And for 20 points, French phrase for a sudden forcible overthrow of the government. Coup d'etat, yes. All right, and we go back to a toss up for 10 points. What is the two word name of Charlotte Bronte's most famous heroine? Jackson Prep, Jeffrey. Jane Eyre, yes. And here are your bonus questions. Identify each of the following by giving an answer beginning with the letter N. For five points, in which country in the South Pacific Ocean were the brown-skinned Maori the first inhabitants having migrated from Polynesia by canoe? New Zealand. New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Yes. For 10 points, one millionth of a millimeter. Nanometer. Yes. 
<coughs> For 15 points, the lion killed by Hercules as one of his 12 Nemean labors. The Neman. The Neman lion. Yes. For 20 points, bright cloud surrounding a god or person. Do we have an answer? New life. No. Okay. East Rankin Academy. Is it Nimbus? Current. Nimbus? Yes. Yes. And that's good for 20 points. All right. We go back to a toss up for 10 points. What hyphenated French term designates a dead end street? Jackson Prep. Jeffrey. Cul de sac. Yes. And here are your bonus questions. Give the term including the Greek or Latin root for star for each of the following. For five points, which adjective based on the Greek root for star describes something so large that it may be beyond comprehension? Astronomical. Astronomical. Yes. For 10 points, star-like sign used in printing. Asterisk. 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 Yes. For 15 points, instrument formerly used to find the altitude of a star. Astrolabe. Astrolabe. Yes. For 20 points, Event such as fire or earthquake that causes great misfortune. Catastrophe. No. No. East Rankin. Disaster. Disaster. Yes. Yes. And that was good for 20 points. We go back to a toss up, and it's a math question for 10 points. Name an angle X between zero and 360 degrees, such that sine of angle X is the same as sine of 80 degrees. Jackson Prep, Jeffrey. One hundred degrees? Yes. yes. And here are your bonus questions. Identify each of the following associated with the word lily. For five points, identify the French Impressionist known for his numerous water lily studies, especially his 1899, The Water Lily Pond. Monet. Monet. Yes. For 10 points, lily is the name of the popular TV spokesperson for what company? The good deal, remember? AT&T. AT 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 yes. yes. Oh. For 15 <laughs> points, Indian maiden who is rescued by Peter Pan in James Barry's Peter Pan. Tiger Lily. Tiger Lily. Right. Tiger Lily. Yes. And for 20 points, phrase used to mean to try to improve something that is already beautiful or perfect. Lilification. No. East Rankin. Putting clothes on a lily. No. It's going to be to gild the lily. And that concludes round three. We will be back in a moment with a preliminary score. At the end of three rounds of play, the preliminary score is East Rankin Academy 205. Jackson Preparatory School, 240. We move into the fourth and final round, which is a toss-up only round. We'll start with a five-point toss-up. Starting in 1999, Michelle Akers, Brianna Scurry, Christine Lilly, Brandy Chastain, and Mia Hamm were featured on Wheaties cereal boxes. What sport were they associated with? Jackson Prep, Jake. Basketball. No. East Rankin, Audrey. Tennis. No. It's going to be soccer. For 15 points, identify the American abolitionist featured in the 1999 statue, Step on Board, located in the South End neighborhood of Boston, celebrating her bravery and... Jackson Prep, check. Harriet Tubman. Tubman. Yes. Mm -hmm. For 10 points, identify the Bram Stoker novel that is the basis for a film featuring the Royal Winnipeg Ballet in what is described as an arty, vampiric, 
Fangster Tell. Dr. Prep and a cake. Dracula? Yes. For 20 points, identify the dictator of the French Revolution known as the Incorruptible, who sent. East Reagan, Will. Robespierre, yes. For 10 points, what name is given to a covalent bond resulting from an unequal sharing of. Dr. Prep, Jeffrey. Polar, yes. For 20 points, what is the name for an important ancestor of the modern horse, meaning middle horse? No answer from either team. It's Mesohippus. A toss-up for 20 points. Which word completes the title of Thomas Paine, 1794 to 1796, the age of blank? East Rankin. Will. Reason. Yes. For 10 points. In calculus, what name is given to the point or points where the graph of an equation changes concavity? Section prep, Jeffrey. Inflection point? Yes. For 15 points, you'll need your pencil. Use the following atomic weights. One for hydrogen, 32 for sulfur, and 16 for oxygen. Determine the molecular weight of sulfuric acid in amu. A amu. amu. East Rankin, Dillon. 98. Yes. For 10 points, which war was triggered by the assassination of Archduke? Jackson Prep, Jake. War one. Yes. For 10 points, name the Indian princes from whom Edith? East Rankin, Will. Pocahontas. Yes. For 10 points, you may need your pencil. Many words in our language, such as potpourri, refer to collections of one kind or another. Spell the word potpourri. Section prep, Jeffrey. P-O-T-P-O-U-R-R-I. Yes. For 10 points, give the architectural term for a vertical support that consists of a shaft and a capital and usually rests on a base. Section prep, Jeffrey. Column. Yes. It's a math question for 10 points. One worker can complete a task in seven days while a second one can do the same task in five days. If they work together, how long will it Will the task take? East Rankin, Will. Three days? No. Jackson Prep, Jake. Four days? No. It's going to be two and 11 twelfths days. For 20 points, which U.S. president passed away less than two years after his presidency ended on March? East Rankin, Will. Um, no answer. 3rd, 1885. He died on November 18th, 1886 of a cerebral hemorrhage. No answer from Jackson Prep. Uh, we called no answer. It was Arthur. For 15 points, The Last of the Mohicans was one of a series of stories known as the Leatherstocking Tales. Who was the author? Jackson Prep, Jeffrey. Smith. No. Okay, no answer from East Rankin. It's James Fenimore Cooper. It's another math question for 10 points. Find the distance between the solutions to x squared minus 9x minus 36 <coughs> equals 0 when they're graphed on a number line. East Rankin, Will. 15. Yes. Yes. And that concludes round four of the match. We'll be back with a final score in a moment. At the end of four rounds of play, the final score is East Rankin Academy 280, Jackson Preparatory School 315. Jackson Prep will move on to the semifinal round. <laughs> 